Hello everyone. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use equalizers. I have opened up FL Studio's parametric equalizer too but all equalizers works the same way so you can use these principles in any equalizer. All the sounds you hear are made up of frequencies and they are represented on your equalizer from the lowest to the highest. This equalizer goes from 0 Hz to 20,000 Hz because that's the typical range human ear can hear. Sounds such as kick drums or bass sounds are usually present on the lower side of the equalizer. Pianos, leads, guitars and pads are usually present on the middle section of the equalizer and sounds such as hi-hats and some percussive sounds usually goes to the higher parts of the equalizer. However keep in mind that almost all sounds covers at least a little bit of every frequency. For example a piano is strongest at the middle frequencies but it still has some volume at the lower and higher sides of the frequency range. The purpose of the equalizer is to show you the frequencies of your instruments or samples so you can either boost or reduce them if you want to. For example here we have a piano sound. As you can see it covers middle frequencies and some low and high frequencies. Now if we wanted, we could reduce or boost the frequencies by dragging these bands. If I move a band up, it boosts the volume of that frequency area you are currently at, or if I move it down, it reduces the frequency. You may choose different types for your bands by clicking the mouse right button. For example, if I choose high pass, the band completely cuts all the lowest frequencies from the point I move the band. You can also make the curve steeper by scrolling your mouse or changing the order of your curve. When you want to just reduce or boost a little bit, I recommend to use the peaking type for your band and scrolling with your mouse to get the curve steeper or more gentle. Usually when you mix instruments together you need to reduce lower frequencies because they tend to clash and cause muddiness. You can also use equalizers to create effects. Now I'm going to play around the equalizer while the piano is playing so you can hear the difference when I move the bands. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.